This video will demonstrate how to install the GM3 gimbal and GT VTX onto an RC car using a 3D printed mounting base. In addition to the GT VTX and GM3 gimbal, you will need 6 M2 by 6 screws, 4 M2 by 20 screws and 1 XT60 male connector. Gimbal power cable and GT VTX power cable are included in the product packaging. It is recommended to 3D print the base in PLA and the antenna mount in TPU. Please download the gimbal base and the antenna mount 3D files from the CADX FPV website. 1. Remove the GT VTX camera and coaxial cable. 2. Mount the GT camera onto the GM3 gimbal and connect the coaxial cable to the GT VTX. 3. Prepare the 3D printed gimbal base and antenna bracket. 4. Secure the gimbal onto the base plate using 4 M2 by 6 screws. 5. Solder the positive terminals of the gimbal power cable and the VTX power cable together, then connect them to the XT60's positive solder pad. Likewise, solder the negative terminals of both cables together and connect them to the XT60's negative solder pad. If you do not need to connect a flight controller, the VTX RX and TX wires are not required and should ideally be kept isolated. 6. Cut off the port of the gimbal transmission cable. Remove the four outermost screws from the GT VTX cooling fan side. Open the VTX cover. Solder the white wire to the TX3 pad. Solder the grey wire to the RX3 pad. Route the cables through the antenna mount hole before soldering. Seven, reassemble the VTX cover and secure it with four screws. Connect the gimbal coaxial cable to the VTX. 8. Attach the GT VTX to the mounting base using 4 M2 by 20 screws. Do not fully tighten the screws yet. Only screw them in halfway. Install the small cover plate on the GT VTX. Mount the GT VTX and install the antenna. Attach the second cover plate and reassemble the cooling fan. Tighten all screws on the gimbal base to fully secure the GT VTX and fan. 9. Plug the GT VTX and gimbal power cables into their respective connectors. 10. Fix the antenna onto the antenna bracket, then secure the antenna bracket to the base using two M2 by six screws. 11. Installation is complete. 12. Power on the system. Enable head tracking mode on your FPV goggles. The gimbal will move in sync with your head movements. 13. Use 3M tape to secure the gimbal base and battery onto the RC car. 14. Power on the system and start controlling your RC car from an immersive FPV perspective. This setup allows you to experience real-time FPV driving with stabilized, head-tracked camera movement. Thank you for watching.